Hello everybody, my name is Austin Kleschka. Some of you may know me as Spidey from Dodger Films, and today we are going to break down the 2024 World Series. The Los Angeles Dodgers versus the New York Yankees. The number one team in the AL versus the number one team in the NL. Shohei Otani against Aaron Judge and all the other superstars that are mixed into this matchup. I'm sure this is exactly what the MLB was hoping for. So who is going to win this epic World Series? We are gonna do that by analyzing their lineup, starting pitching, and bullpen. But before we do any of that, I wanna ask a favor of all of you. I have a personal goal of hitting 250,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and you can help me by hitting that subscribe button. It's free, go do it right now, and let's get started with this video. Before we get into the stats and numbers of these two teams, I wanna break them down just based off the hype, momentum, and the eye test of a viewer throughout the playoffs so far with these two teams. If we are basically Seeing off those factors, it's hard not to pick the Dodgers and how exciting they've been through every single round. We've already seen that their pitching staff can change the whole story of a series as they threw 33 straight scoreless innings, tying history. That is three full games and a little change, but damn, man, 33 straight. The bullpen played a huge role in that, specifically guys like Blake Trinan, Daniel Hudson, and Evan Phillips. When it came to the Dodgers lineup, they had underdogs stepping up, being the heroes to get them to the next round, like Kike Hernandez and Tommy frickin' Edmund. Where did he come from? If it weren't for those guys, this might be a totally different story. Shohei Otani and Mookie Betts have been off through some of the games in all these series, but they have both been able to get back on track. The Dodgers lineup really can rely on any guy from the leadoff spot all the way to the nine hole. So just based off the eye test, somebody who's sitting at home watching these games, it's hard not to pick the Dodgers with how crazy they've been, but not so fast. The Yankees are pretty much the only team that make this World Series a challenge for the Dodgers. While Los Angeles has a frightening duo with Shohei Otani, Mookie Betts, don't forget the New York has Aaron Judge and Juan Soto, who in my opinion have not fully awoken through these playoffs. We saw their regular season performance, we know what these two superstars can do, and if they made it to the World Series with their bats going the way they were, imagine if they woke up and just started scorching. That could really be at any time with Aaron Judge and Juan Soto, and hey, the momentum could finally be getting them on track, because Juan Soto's last swing of the ALCS literally sent them to the World Series. Juan Soto, a three-run home run! So with all that being said, let's get down to the main breakdowns of this video. Lineup, starting pitcher, and bullpen, starting with lineups. The lineup, I have to give it to the Dodgers. When your whole team is hitting from top to bottom, that is a recipe for victory. Especially when those bottom of the order guys are getting hot, it takes pressure off of your superstars at the top of the lineup. And when any of those guys in the lineup are getting on, it is huge for Shohei Otani. He has been electric with runners in scoring position. Really, anybody on base. He is 18 for 22. That is batting 8-18. That's insane. Then you factor in Mookie, who's doing just fine batting 295. It's tough to argue when that whole lineup is hot. And so far, they have been. Well, not really Will Smith, but even he has come through with a couple home runs every now and then throughout this playoffs. <laughs> Go oh, run! Will, Will Smith, Smith just smacked the shit out of me. While Aaron Judge and Juan Soto are very talented, we have not seen that same production from the Yankees lineup. We just don't see that same impact from top of the lineup to bottom of the lineup from New York. You can really pick any guy out of that Dodgers lineup and talk about how great they've been through the postseason, and then you look at the Yankees lineup where the bottom half really should be stepping up like Alex Verdugo, Jazz Chisholm, and Austin Wells. They've all been batting under 200 through this postseason, and I think we all know they can be better than that. The Yankees are blessed that they have guys in this lineup that can change a game with the snap of a fingers, and that is a huge reason why they are in this World Series. Epic game-changing home runs from Aaron Judge. Judge, line drive, right field, hit well. Juan Soto. Deal Soto off. Thomas at the track. And Juan Soto! And the man who's been on fire, Giancarlo Stanton. And a high drive in the left center field. Stanton is going to watch another one fly. Without those power bats, the Yankees may not be here. So if that magic runs out, are you going to be able to keep up with the Dodgers lineup? 
I don't think so. And that's why I'm giving the points for lineup to the Dodgers. Every single guy is hitting from leadoff to the last spot in the order. We've seen the Dodgers score plenty of runs throughout many games in this postseason, scoring very high and making it very tough for their opponent to keep up. They really put that pressure to make the other team start hitting if you're gonna be able to keep up with them in a game. So yeah, like I said, lineup, hitting goes to Dodgers. Now let's talk about the starting pitching. Yankees have been rolling a consistent rotation of Garrett Cole, Carlos Rodon, and Clark Schmidt. And every guy I named is sitting under a four ERA, which respectfully can keep you in games. It's not the best ever, but it's good enough to where you have a chance. They give you a shot. On the Dodgers end of starting pitching, it has not been a similar story. They've had to fight the injury bug the whole season, especially in their starting rotation. It was a mystery what Dave Roberts would roll out for the rotation in the postseason, but this is what it has looked like. Yoshinobu Yamamoto, 5.11 ERA. Jack Flaherty, 7.04 ERA, and Walker Bueller, 6 ERA. And after that, he would factor in a bullpen game before getting back to those guys. But if we're just talking about the starting pitchers, that's what it's looked like. Every single starter for the Dodgers has a higher ERA than every single guy the Yankees are running out there right now. But I cannot deny all of those Dodgers starters had have had at least one game where they truly shine and shoved like an ace. But we know what these pitchers are capable of it's just a question of are they going to be able to perform in the biggest games of the year. As a whole, I would say the Yankee starters have been more reliable through the postseason, so I got to give the point to starting pitching to the Yankees. With both teams taking a point, it comes down to who has the better bullpen. Now, like I mentioned, the Dodgers have actually been running bullpen games throughout the playoffs, and it has been a recipe for success. Remember when I said Los Angeles threw 33 straight scoreless innings, and we mentioned the bullpen is a huge reason why that happened. As a whole, they posted a tough to look as impressive as the Dodgers bullpen throughout all this, but the Yankees haven't been that bad either. They are not to be messed with as well. They have a 2.56 ER through the playoffs so far with a ton of arms in that bullpen that are great for matchup based baseball. However, I think the Dodgers have more bullpen arms where if you see them enter the game, good luck. With that, I'm going to have to give bullpen to the Dodgers and that puts them up two to one. That was our breakdown of the 2024 World Series, Yankees versus Dodgers. And who do I think is going to win it? It would be the Dodgers. I think it'll be a competitive, entertaining World Series. And I think Los Angeles captures its World Series with Shohei Otani in his first year. Are you kidding me? F I think the Dodgers win it in six. But let me tell all of you with 100% certainty, I do not want the Dodgers to win the World Series at all. It is not what I want. What do I want? I want the Yankees to sweep the Dodgers. That's right, in four games. Please kick their That's what I want. So that's it. We broke down this 2024 World Series. I told you who I think is going to win. I told you who I want to win. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment. Let me know who you think is going to win and who you want to win. Like the video, subscribe, share it around with your friends and family. I got this, you got this, we got this, and let's strap in for this World Series. See ya.